Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, and in this video, I'm here to kind of explain these different little pop-ups that you see, especially the one that says for the SD card. Now, this video isn't a way to get rid of that notification on the very, very top of the notifications panel, but I am able to show you how to get rid of it on the lock screen, and I will also explain why it is there and why we cannot take it off. So the first thing I do want to point out is I do actually have another notifications up there, and that one is from Facebook. So now a lot of these notifications you are actually able to take off it just happens to be for that SD card, it won't, and all you got to do is just swipe it off. So this is how you'd be able to take off notifications with any application. Go into either, you can go into the notifications down here, or the way I do it is through applications, and I go to the application manager. Now inside of the application manager, this is where you can manage any of the applications where you can clear the data, you can clear the cache, and you can also stop it from showing pop-ups. So up there in the very top left-hand side, you notice I have one actually from Facebook. So let's scroll down and click on Facebook. Inside of here, this is where I've got the notifications for that application. Once you click on notifications, you can actually just allow it to turn it off. So now, anytime you get notifications from Facebook or anything like that, now it will not pop up on the very top, but it will show your notifications that is with the app on your main home screen, which is right here inside of mine is with inside that folder. And also, you know, you can do that with Candy Crush and all those other crazy games that you hate all the pop ups. Now, let's kind of go back and talk about this one right here. Now, the only time that this ever pops up the SD card uh, on the Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge, the only time it pops up is when you restart or turn on your phone. So if your phone is rebooting and turning on, then all you do is basically just swipe it off and then you're good to go but where exactly is this coming from so if you were to press and hold on that little uh, notification there you can see that you have all these options here and this pop-up is coming from system UI which is marshmallow so what you can do is you can hide it on the lock screen so let's actually go right on back and go back into the lock screen and now you do not see it so that's how you can take it away from the lock screen now with the one that's very on the very top the little notifications bar you do not have the option to show all notifications so remember back with the Facebook application there was that option to turn everything off well this one just happens to not have it and because this pop-up is coming from the system UI of marshmallow from Android which is Google well, there is probably a few Android or Google notifications that need to be popped up on your phone. So that's why you're not able to take this one off. So right now, the only thing you can ever do is swipe it off and then you're good to go. So you can use this for several days, several weeks, several months, all the way up until your phone gets turned off or you turn it off or you restart it, reboot it, whatever, whatever the case is, then it will pop right back up. So outside of that, I hope this kind of explained a few things, but also let's hope that Google with the Marshmallow update, maybe with anything in the future, gives us the option to turn off that little SD card, navigation, explore, eject, notification. So make sure you guys follow me on all my social media sites, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Make sure you guys also subscribe to me here on YouTube, and I will see you guys later.